वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सेवन डैश सेवनटीन सो स्टेटमेंट इज इफ बीम इज सब्जेक्टेड टू अ शेयर ऑफ 15 किलो न्यूटन डिटरमाइन द वेब शेयर स्ट्रेस एट ए एंड बी इंडिकेट द शेयर स्ट्रेस कंपोनेंट ऑन वॉल्यूम एलिमेंट लोकेटेड एट दिस पॉइंट सेट डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू 125 ट्वेंटी मिलीमीटर शो दैट न्यूट्रल एक्सिस इज लोकेटेड एट वाई डैश इज इक्वल टू जीरो मीटर फ्रॉम द बॉटम एंड I neutral I about neutral axis is this one, so you can see this is the beam and there is a shear force V. All the dimension of this beam width is two hundred millimeter. The thickness of this flange is thirty millimeter. The web thickness is twenty five millimeter. The thickness of downward flange is thirty millimeter. This W is equal to one twenty five millimeter. so what we have to find we, first we have to show that neutral axis is located at this distance from the bottom second show that we uh, i about neutral axis is this one and then shear force at this point a and this point b so let's start with the solution now you can see that i have drawn the cross section of this beam and converted all the dimension into meter clear and first we will find the location of neutral axis from the bottom so let's say for a we are going to find the location of neutral axis from the bottom so as we know that this y dash is equal to sum of y dash into a divided by sum of area now if we designate it as 1 this as 2 and this as 3 so this formula will expand like this uh, y1 dash into a1 plus y2 dash into a2 plus y3 dash into a3 divided by sum of area and the sum of area is a1 plus a2 plus A three. Now, what is y one dash? So y one dash, if it is given from the bottom, so from bottom y one dash is the distance from bottom till the mid of the first section or centroid of the first section. So this will be your y one dash, and this y one dash is equal to zero point zero three. Divide by two, which will yield you zero point zero one five meter. What is y two dash? So y two dash is distance from this base till the mid of our centroid of two. So centroid of two will be at a distance of zero point two five zero divided by two. So it will be this one clear. And from the neutral uh, from this bottom, this distance is. Y two dash, so I will first write Y two dash, and this is Y two, and this will be dash. Okay, and this Y two dash is equal to half of zero point two five zero will yield you zero point one two five plus zero point three will give you zero point one five five meter. Now what about Y three? So Y three is distance from this bottom till the mid of this. this will be y3 so i will uh, choose so let this will be the y3 dash and this y3 dash will be equal to uh, total is you can add this 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 and this and you subtract 0.015 and this y3 dash will be equal to 0.295 meter okay so we will area a1 a1 is this area and this area is equal to 0.215 into 0.30 similarly a2 is this area and this area is a2 and this a2 will be equal to 0.250 into this thickness similarly this is a3 i will show you this is a3 and this a3 will be equal to 0.20 into 0.03 so we will write y dash bar 
which is the distance of neutral axis from the base is equal to y1 dash so y1 dash is 0 0.015 into area and this is the area of first which is this multiplied by this so i will write them over here so 0 0.125 multiply by 0 0.03 plus y2 y2 dash is this one uh, this is the y2 dash this distance and that is mentioned over 0 0.155 into area and this area is uh, this multiply by this so i will write y2 dash is 0 0.155 into area is 0 0.250 multiply by 0 0.025 okay plus y3 dash so y3 dash is this distance and the area is this one which is 0 0.20 multiplied by this so 0 0.295 is y3 dash and area is 0 0.03 multiplied by 0 0.20 so again when you solve this your y dash will be equal to 0 0.1747 that we have proved that the distance of neutral axis from the bottom is this one this was the first part that we have solved so now we will represent this from the bottom it is zero point so this will lie this half is 0 0.25 uh, this this distance is 0 0.0 so our distance is greater so it means that your neutral axis if i choose another color and let me choose another color so your neutral axis will be somewhere here this is your neutral axis and distance of neutral axis from this bottom is represented as y dash this is y dash and this y dash is equal to 0 0.1747 meter now we will move towards second part and in second part we have been asked to find the moment of inertia so the moment of inertia about neutral axis and that is equal to moment of inertia of first plus moment of inertia of second plus moment of inertia of third okay from about neutral axis so first portion is this one you can see this is the first portion so its moment of inertia will be equal to 1 over 12 base into h cube plus since it is away from the neutral axis so d will be by using parallel axis theorem this will be d so a d square so i will write it the first moment of inertia is equal to 1 over 12 its base which is 0 0.25 into height cube so base is 0 0.125 into height is 0 0.03 cube plus a, a, a d square so area is 0 0.125 into 0 0.03 and d is the distance from neutral axis till the centroid of first portion so this is your d and this d can be obtained if you subtract uh, this 0 0.015 from this y so you will get this d so i will write d is equal to 0 0.1747 minus 0 0.015 whole square this is i1 plus i2 i2 is now you can see this is the second portion so its moment of inertia about neutral axis will be equal to um, this a this base which is 0 0.025 and height is 0 0.250 so i will write 1 over 12 b h cube b is 0 0.025 and h is equal to 0 0.25 cube plus area and this area is 0 0.025 and into 0 0.25 and d square now d square is distance from neutral axis till the centroid of this so this will be equal to y minus y2 dash uh, y2 dash y2 dash is mm, 0 0.155 so i will write it 0 0.1747 minus 0 0.1 double five whole square plus 
now we will move toward i3 plus i3 is one three third one is this area so this area is breadth is this one and height is this one and it's uh, distance from neutral axis till centroid is this one and this can be found if you subtract uh, uh, if you subtract 0 0.295 this total distance from uh, if you subtract 0 0.2 uh, 0 0.147 from this so this will give you this distance you can look at it and you can write so i will write it um, 1 over 12 its breadth was 0 0.2 and height was 0 0.03 whole cube plus this area which is 0 0.2 into 0 0.03 into d square and d is 0 0.295 minus 0 0.1747 uh, whole square. So again, when you calculate this, you will get I about neutral axis comes out to be 0 0.21812 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter power 4. So this is the proof of, the, of our second part that I about neutral axis is equal to this one. So we have solved this. Now we will move towards C part. In part C, we have been asked to find shear stress at point A and shear stress at point B. So we know that shear stress at point A is equal to V into QA divided by I into T. Similarly, shear stress at point B is equal to V into QB divided by I into T. So V was given as 15 kilonewton, so 15 into 10 to the power 3. Now what about Q? So we will first find Q, Q we know that Q is equal to Y dash into A. Okay, now what is Y dash for this? So this is your point A, you can see here point A, I will uh, write down this is your neutral axis. So this area will be your, the this will be your Y dash. This will be your y dash. And this y dash is equal to um, 0. Point, I will write it. If you subtract, this total is 0. Point, 0. Point 0.310. If you subtract 0. Uh, if you subtract uh, uh, half of this plus this half which is distance from neutral axis this is y bar so you will get this y1 i will write it so q dash is equal to area area of the up above this portion this portion is 0 0.2 into 0 0.03 and its distance from neutral axis this is y dash and this y dash will be equal to y dash will be equal to 0 0.310 minus y bar which is 0 0.1747 minus 0 0.015 which is this distance this is 0 0.015 this is distance so you will get y dash so i will write it Q is equal to Y dash into A Y dash is 0. Point y dash is uh, 0. 0.310 minus 0. 0.015 minus 0. 0.747 multiply by A dash is 0. 0.2 multiply by 0. 0.03 which will give you 0. 0.71219 into 10 to the power minus 3 cubic meter. Okay. So you can just put it in this formula. Q is 0 0.7219 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by I which, which we have calculated over here. 
this is the value of i which is 0 0.0218 1 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 and what about thickness of uh, this so thickness is this 0 0.025 0 0.025 okay how so 0 0.025 this total height or thickness okay so when you solve this you will get shear stress at point a is 1.99 mega pascal similarly you can find shear stress at point b so how so we will write shear stress at point b is equal to v into q b divided by i into t okay so V is equal to 15 into 10 to the power 3. Q is equal to area into Y dash. So area is this one. This will be the area because this is point B. And this area multiplied by Y dash. And Y dash is from neutral axis. Uh, so from the centroid of this portion till Y. And this will be again equal to um, if you subtract uh, if you take this value and subtract uh, minus 0 0.05 which is half of this so you will get the remaining portion this this will be your y2 dash clear so i will write it uh, v bar is equal to area area was uh, 0 0.125 0 0.125 into 0 0.03 and y dash will be equal to 0 0.1747 minus 0 0.015 divided by i i is again 0 0.21812 into 10 to the power minus 3 and thickness is 0 0.025 so again when you solve this you will get Shear stress at point B is equal to 1.65 mega pascal. Okay, now we have to represent then uh, that on element uh, and that if you draw a three dimensional element clear, we will choose another color. Okay, so tau at point B will be equal to. Uh, 1.99 mega pascal that is given over here so it will be like this it will be for example the face will be like this and if i draw a dotted line from here so below surface will be no this will be straight and this will be this will be shear stress at point a which is equal to 1.99 mega pascal and same if you draw a three space element and you want to represent so shear stress at point b will be like this one on this face it will be like this this is tau b which is equal to 1.65 mega pascal so this was all about uh, problem 7.17 it's a very lengthy problem i hope you have enjoyed this video those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if again if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching